Your settings are all about how visible you are and how easy you are to contact with the people. Connections, you'll probably understand that you have what's known as first, second and third connections. So that if I was connected to 100 people, I'd like to be with friends, be you know, the best clients. They could be connected to 100 people and so on. So that I could search straight away 100,000 people. I could search for potential um, HR people. I could search for you know, recruitment departments, big companies. You can use the search to find out lots of stuff. Um, company pages, a fantastic resource. Most employers, most companies will have their own LinkedIn company page. Follow it. If you're going for an interview or taking an interest in them, you need to be seeing what's going on in their business. And groups, again, if you interact in these groups, you can get spotted, passive recruitment, and there's lots of jobs posted on there. You get yourself in there, you know, it doesn't cost anything. And if your profile looks decent and you've got to let your interests match, you will get spotted. You know, you can room them up. Okay, um, you're not going to get the jobs that you apply for. You might not even get the interviews that you want. But if you're not getting what you want, ask for feedback. Um, you won't always get it, it's fair to say, but just a little bit of feedback every now and again. Um, you've got everything to gain from that. If you don't ask for feedback, then you're doing yourself a disservice. Um, where I put about reviewing it with an open mind, if it's pre-interview, it's not going to be personal. If you get any feedback, you know, can you let me know why an application was successful? I'd really appreciate it. Quick email. You can even do it via LinkedIn because you don't have to go via the gatekeepers or through reception. Um, if it's pre interview, it's unlikely to be personal, it'll be factual, it'll be you didn't have enough for this, you didn't have enough for the other, and then you can try and deal with it. And if you get the same thing coming back, you can try and act on it. When I put validate it, um, it's actually as a feedback. Right, there are some, um, we know from experience that clients do strange things. Some of our clients were hot and cold, make up decisions. You know the candidates better than them sometimes, and you can't understand why they're doing it. So it's not all gospel. So you know, do treat some of them with your soul. And you know, just change what you can and learn what you can. Okay, so I'm kind of coming towards the closing stages. Um, mostly points across the okay. So, in terms of where you all are now in your stages of career, be it studying, about to graduate, in work, out of work, um, get feedback from where you can, from your colleagues, from people you've worked with. So, you can be honest, what do you think? Make sure you've got a plan. We see lots of people, clients see lots of people, and they don't seem focused, not really right, these are the, the top 30 in this field, I want to be applying to the you know, top 30 consultant engineers, the top 20 environmental services companies, you know, be organised, get a plan, you know, what is your plan going to be, and what are you going to do if it doesn't work out, are you just going to go, oh, I'm not travelling, um, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to have to earn some cash, majority of us. Um, I'm always amazed how people come for job interviews, um, clients tell us, and they don't have a plan B. If you don't, what are you going to do if you don't, don't get this job? I don't know. <coughs> okay, um, are you prepared to work at improving your employability skills? When we come back to the, the softer skills. Um, are you prepared to go out if you were to meet this new gentleman from Mogadol earlier tonight? Um, he's, what, six months in? And, you know, he's here tonight, he's doing that little bit extra. So, you know, he's going out there, he's networking, he's helping his company. He's adding to his employability skills. You know, if, you know, someone comes along ahead of him and say, yeah, 
say, well, I do this, I've done this, you're going to look more attractive to someone else. So, what can you do to keep put more things of interest on your application, make you more you know, appealing to, to the recruiters? Common sense, that's probably the Yorkshireism, but it's about keeping it real when it comes to applying for jobs that are relevant to what you do. If it's pointless applying for stuff that's not going to sell. Okay. So I've put together a little, a little checklist. Um, by the way, at the end of this presentation, I've put my contact details up there. So if anybody would like it, email it to them. I'm uh, more than happy to send it out to you. And you can connect with me or tweet to know whatever you want to do. Um, but I thought, well, rate your own employability skills. You know, look at yourself. What have you got above and beyond? I'm doing this degree, I'm doing this qualification. Have you got anything else in your locker? Are you prepared to take responsibility? Are you going to sit there and say, well, the job market's crap, there's nothing much out there, and you mooch it out? Um, you can't afford to do that, so you need to be clear. Have you done your homework? And who are your potential next employees? You know, even if you're in work, you don't know what's going to happen. Um, we've seen so many times, we've seen lots and lots of big clients um, go to administration, just like that. One day, everything's fine. The next minute, gone. And if you're in one of those situations, you know, you're with a contractor, perhaps, and it's cash flow issues, you know, have you thought through, well, if I did lose my job tomorrow, who would I go to? Yeah, and assess yourself to all the contractor. Um, do your research routes to employment. If you're not familiar with job boards, for example, you need to get yourself familiar with them. Um, do, do some homework on it. Um, have you checked out who's got the graduate schemes? Have you checked out their injury requirements? And you know, do you stand out? Have you got anything at all to make you stand out? I mean, an accurate CV register, always be updating your CV. If anything changes, you, know, you might need it. You know, if you see something in the closing days tomorrow, if it's not ready, you might go, I'm not going to get it ready for tomorrow. That's the difference between getting that job and not. E profile up to date, as I've discussed, someone looks you up online, what are they going to say? And Initial activity is interest healthy. If you do anything that could be regarded as a little bit odd, I'd probably leave it out of your resume again, just in case. Just 
So feel free to you know, dance with you for whatever. Um, LinkedIn group. But that's what I was talking about when it comes to the LinkedIn URL. Um, I've got P. Jackman. Unfortunately, there was another Paul Jackman. Um, we got there first. You know, I would like to have Paul Jackman accounts. Um, you can do the same for your name as soon as you can. And if you want to know more about Thorn Baker, that's us up there. So thanks again. Thank you. Cheers. Okay. Mostly well, for very interesting how they brought everyone else did. Um, the next thing we've got is speed networking. So we're going to get out of the well, I'm going to get out of the Everyone's going to get out of, out of the chairs and we're going to go down to the to the next room. Just before we start, just to refresh anyone who all the what the rooms are, we're going, we're going to take our seats with several rooms, uh, work people on one side, students on the other side. I have little slip to say students. Um, because I think we're better to turn for it. Non-student. So you choose the appropriate side, you sit down, we're gonna get our start, have a brief introduction to each other. If any questions that you've got for maybe students asking you to slide in work, what people say most of the kind of latest things that you're learning in the universities or in months possibly, do that after four minutes. Megan's going to make a noise, which is going to be um kick out! Okay, <laughs> four minutes, Megan's going to do that. All the students then move down one, one seat to the right. Then so at the end of the row, move on to the next row. You don't just stand there looking like a muppet. Um, we're going to repeat that every four minutes until we run out of time. Um, we've probably got maybe half an hour or so. I'm relying on Megan to tell us when it's finished. Otherwise, we've just got to keep on their ground and round and round and round forever. Um, any questions? We're ready to get up and get excited. Okay, let's do this. Um, that was a